God, the God of all flesh, the one with whom nothing shall be impossible, Jehovah El Shaddai, we bless your holy name. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, in a very, very special manner, draw close to your children. Please, Lord, grant their request today. Give every one of us here today a very pleasant surprise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Unless somebody shout a big hallelujah. I want you to prophesy to two or three people, shake their hands and say, you will get a visitor of joy this month. And then you may please be seated. John chapter 4. From verse 23 to 24. John chapter 4, 23 and 24. Jesus is speaking here and he said, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. There is a link between praise and fruitfulness. Why? Because when you praise God, like we learned last Friday night, God draws near. He says God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He says the Father seeketh such to worship him. Oh, we know God he has prayers. We know he answers prayers. But we also know that there is a condition to answer prayers. Because the book of Isaiah tells us that we are to seek the Lord while he may be found. We are to call on him while he's near. And the problem with answered prayers had always been, how do I know when God is near? Because he's a spirit, I can't see him. So how do I know when he's near? How do I know when he's far away? 
But the Bible says if you worship him, you don't have to look for him. He will look for you. In other words, those who know how to praise God have discovered the secret of drawing God near. Now when the Father, God the Father, draws near you, He reverses the irreversible. Because in Genesis 18, verse 1 to 14, Genesis 18, 1 to 14, when he paid Abraham and Sarah a visit, he reversed the irreversible. The one who had not menstruated for more than 40 years suddenly began to menstruate again and within nine months a baby came. If you can praise God so that God the Father draws near you, even what the doctor said cannot be done, God will do it. Now, when God the Son draws near, then according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, Philippians 4 verse 19, all needs become met. Because he said, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So if Christ Jesus draws near you, all needs will be met. And so all needs include the fruit of the womb. When God is and draws near, failure is replaced with success. Because Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when God the Father draws near, he reverses the irreversible. When God the Son draws near, all needs are met and failure is replaced with success, which means that as we praise him today, as the Father draws near us, as the Son draws near us, what we have been trying all these years and we have been meeting with failure, before the end of this month, there will be shout of joy. Yeah. And what happens when God the Holy Spirit draws near? If we praise God as to get the Holy Spirit to draw near us, then according to Ezekiel 37, verse 1 to 10, Ezekiel 37, 1 to 10, suddenly dry bones begin to live again. Because when God took his servant to the valley of dry bones and he asked the servant of God to prophesy and he prophesied and bones came to bones, he prophesied flesh covered them. The Bible said there was still no life in them until the wind blew and that wind is the Holy Spirit. So when you praise God and the Holy Spirit draws near, suddenly even dry bones will begin to live again. And so like I've always said to my children, when prayers seem to fail, try praise. 
praise will never fail. As you see in Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28, Matthew 15, 21 to 28, the Bible tells us that a woman came to Jesus Christ, crying with a loud voice, have mercy on me, I need help. The Bible says Jesus would not even answer her a word. She kept on crying. Rain loud and clear. The disciples said, Lord, let's send this woman away. She's too noisy. Well, Jesus Christ said, I'm not saying better to the Lordship of the house of Israel. Finally, Jesus Christ said, I can't give the bread of children to dogs. But the Bible said the woman came and worshipped him. They have been praying. But she changed her tactics to worshiping instead of praying. And that very day, the dog became a son. The woman got what she wanted. My brethren, today we want to change tactics. We have prayed. We haven't seen answers yet. We have cried. We have fasted. We've done everything. But today we are going to praise God for a change. And as we praise Him, I know He will draw near us. And when He draws near us, when He draws near us, then the irreversible will be reversed. All needs will be met. Failure will be changed to success. And even dry bones will live again. So we're going to spend some time praising God. After I've prayed for you, then please spend time Many a times when I say, okay, I've prayed for you now, you spend time with your God, I find that within five minutes, some people are already leaving. I thought you came for something special. Suppose I've not even finished preaching. Will you hurry away? Spend time with God you have, is the one you have come to meet, spend time with him. So before I pray for you, if there's anyone who has not given his or her life to Jesus, because even the praise of a sinner is an abomination to God, if you have not given your life to Jesus and you want to give your life to him so that your praise will be acceptable to him, Please come forward very, very quickly. We don't have time to waste. You might be the only one. I will count from one to four. If you want to give your life to Jesus, if you haven't done so before, hurry up and cancel us. We we'll attend to you straight away, right here, while I pray for your salvation. So if anybody wants to give his or her life to Jesus, come very quickly now as I begin to count from one to four. One. Two. Once he saves your soul, oh, it's going to be marvelous. As you begin to praise him, he will draw near to you. And the counselors, if they are around, should come forward because I want you to attend to the people right here. Three. Good. 
Very good. Those of you who have given your life, uh, who have come forward, cry unto the Lord now. Ask Him to save your soul. Ask Him to forgive your sins. Ask Him to receive you into the family of God. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. And pray that the one who saved our own souls who saved their own souls also. Let's pray for them. Let's intercede for them for a minute or two. And cancel us, please. Come and join them here. Because we'll be attending to them in this place. Those of you who have come forward, talk to the Lord. Have mercy on me. Save my soul. Become my Lord. Become my Savior. Just have mercy. Almighty God, just have mercy on me. And the rest of us, let's pray for them for just one more minute. Asking that God will please look down with mercy on these people. And save their souls. And forgive all their sins. And write their names in the book of life. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Lord and my Savior, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. And thank you for these people who have decided that they want to surrender their life to you. Please remember your promise that whosoever will come unto you, you will know wise cast out. They have come to you now, Father. Please receive them in Jesus' name. Let your blood wash away their sins. Save their souls and write their names in the book of life in Jesus' name. And please receive them into the family of God. Let them remain yours forever. And from now on, any time they call on you, please answer them by fire. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to rejoice with those of you who are in front. From now on, by the grace of God, I'll be praying for you. So some counselors are near you now. They're going to give you some pieces of paper that I want you to fill very quickly. And you return to them. You give your names your address and your prayer requests and I promise you I'll be praying for you you may need to move a little forward while you are doing that because the rest of us I want you to drop close to the altar so that I can pray with you first and then you can spend quality time praising God quality time Praising God today until He will draw near you, until you will feel the presence of God the Father and the presence of God the Son and the presence of God the Holy Spirit. Remember, when God the Father draws near, He reverses the irreversible. When God the Son draws near, He meets all needs. And changes failure to success. When God the Holy Spirit draws near, even dry bones will live again. So let's draw close to Him as I pray for you now. You lift your hands to the Almighty God and receive the blessing of the Lord now. My Father, my God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you because I know with you all things are possible. I want to thank you because I know you can even bring water out of the rock. How much more bring children out of wombs. I want to thank you because you have done the unbelievable before. You have reversed the irreversible before. You have made impossible possible before. You have caused dry bones to live again. So, Father, on behalf of all your children, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. 
in a moment your children will begin to praise you as they begin to praise you God the Father draw near them when you drew near Sarah within nine months she was carrying a baby draw near your children today God is saying, please draw near your children. Let all their needs be met. This month, let there be no failure. Holy Spirit, draw near your children. Cause dry bones to live again. Father, when your children begin to testify with their twins and triplets, let them say, when we praise God, God drew near us. Thank you, my Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now you're going to praise him. Just do it your own way. Sing to him, dance, rejoice. When you finish, when you feel satisfied, then you drop your offering and go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this month you shall sing. So let's just go ahead. Let's begin to praise God. Praise him your own way. Do it your own way. Praise him till he draws near to you begin to glorify his holy name. Just praise him.